On Friday, it just wasn't meant to be for the Hazleton area football team. The Cougars were able to make some plays early on in the game, and at the half, they only trailed by seven. But in the second half, Delaware Valley was on a roll and outscored Hazleton area 21 to nothing and route to a 31 to three victory to give the Warriors the district championship. For Adrian Otero and the seniors on the team, it was their last game in a Cougars uniform, and Otero will miss all the time he spent with his team. It's been a good journey, you know, since day one. You know, we're a family. I'm going to miss it here. But just go on. Following the game, the Cougars players huddled around their head coach, Mike Brennan, and Brennan had his team watch Delaware Valley celebrate. And then I asked our guys to, to, to gaze down and look at them celebrating, you know, because I was at the game last year where they were beating Stanley by Williamsport at Williamsport. So I, I feel like this is part of the process for us uh, to improve. And, you know, we were soundly beaten by a very sound, a very well coached, very good football team tonight. And there's no shame in that. Our kids battled. Uh, disappointing ending, but I, I told them I don't want this to define our season and define our progress. Even though the 2017 season didn't end the way that the Cougars were hoping it would, they're already looking forward to the start of next season. Well, we have tremendous leadership in the younger, younger classes. Uh, you know, we, we could have the biggest offensive line we've had since I've been here next year. We have guys that will be in the weight room and will work at it. Um, you know, they learned a lot. We had a lot of guys play a lot of football, so we'll take our few weeks off, lick our wounds, get ourselves refocused, and, and we'll get back in the weight room and get ready for 2018. Next season, the Big HA is expected to have a good team as they will return several players, including quarterback Sparky Wolk and big-time playmaker Damian Horton. But before Hazleton area starts looking at next season, they should definitely enjoy what they accomplished this season. Not only did the Cougars play for a district championship, but they also finished the season with a winning record for the first time since 2009, putting the Hazleton area program one step closer to being right where they want to be. Reporting for SSP-TV Sports, I'm John Eric Poli.